What is up you guys? How are you today? Sorry if I look a little bit crazy. We're doing a makeup review today and I wanted my hair out of my face and also my hair looks gross. So I thought I'd just put on my little makeup headband. So yeah, today we're going to be reviewing Sugar Pill Cosmetics. I found them on Instagram. They have these palettes that look like pills. <laughs> I'm about to show them to you, but they have those, the ones that look like pills. They also have what they have. They have a fun size mini palette, which I also got. However, um, the mini palette I had to order off of Amazon because they were sold out on the sugar pill website. But yeah, so let's go ahead and dive in. I have done the rest of my makeup. I've done my foundation, my concealer, my setting powder, my eyebrows, um, and I've also put some eye primer on so that way we can give the eyeshadows their best shot. Also, my lips, I have exfoliated and I've been using this Burt's Bees Overnight Intensive Lip Treatment. I've been having a real struggle with my lips. They've been so chapped constantly. Nothing helps. Let's go ahead and dive in before I talk my head off. So everything came... Ah! Sorry, I've got like eyeliners and stuff sitting there. Um, so it came in this box, sugar pill. It's all nicely wrapped. I did already open it just once to make sure that everything was inside. So here are the palettes. Um, it is C1 and C2 of the capsule collection. So here, this one is like the pink version and then this one's the orange. They do look very pretty, so I'm kind of excited. But we also have these Little Twin Stars Liquid Lip Color Duo. They do have other liquid lips. These were on sale, so I thought we'd try them um, at least just to test how the formula is if we did want to get any other colors in the future. So we have that. And then I... <laughs> I went a little overboard, ordered these eyelashes. So I've got three different pairs. These are Dewdrop. These are the Dewdrop. They're very long, very eccentric. Um, I also got the Angel Babies, which these have sort of, you can't see, but they've got sort of purple in them a little bit, like little purple streaks. And then these are the Porcelain Eyelashes. And they're a little bit more weird, as you can see. I don't know. I must have been feeling very, very out there when I ordered all of this. But of course, because I got those lashes, I did end up getting the glue. However, I've never used glue eyelashes before. So we're going to try it. And if it doesn't work and I'm just terrible at it, then we are going to go in with the liner bond. Because as I uh, was searching on Silly George's website, I noticed that they did say that their liner bond can be used with all kinds of different eyelashes, not just the ones that they sell. So that could also be something really cool to test this video. But then we have the palette that took forever to get here, which is the uh, fun size palette. Um, I really like it because it's kind of gamer-esque inspired. Like the colors are cheat code, 8-bit, twitch, level up, high score, game over. So I thought it was really cute and I really just wanted to be able to give it a shot because I think this is their newest palette. If it's not, it's one of these. I guess we better just dive in. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the capsules on one eye and then the fun size on another. Um, it's gonna be very out there, but let's see what we can make do. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up our C1 palette um and our colors are slow dive cloud nine dream state melody undone ember baby doll supernova radiate and glory um so there are all those oh it does have a mirror this is very nice it feels very well made like it's a very nice hard plastic i don't feel like it's gonna break or anything i love the layout of the colors i think that is very nice and overall it's just a very nice simple design and i really like it let's open up our c2 palette again it feels very nice um we have side eye elevate moonshine retrograde double shot 
Skyrise, Youngblood, Metro, Insomniac, and Karma. So there are all the colors for that palette. And last but not least, we have our fun size palette, which is our mini palette. And that's how it is. It's just a normal little palette. It feels nice. Honestly, it it's just a normal sort of palette. But here we are. We have, ah, if I can read, um, cheat code, 8-bit, player one, twitch, level up, rage quit, continue, high score, and game over. So there are all the colors in that palette. Now I'm seeing a lot of mattes in this one. This one looks like it's pure mattes, um, which is good. I like mattes. Um, and these seem to have a little bit of everything in them. Now it says one blush, four metallics, and five mattes. So the blush, I'm assuming, is the biggest one. Is that what I am to assume? What about in this one? I So that one would be the blush in this one? Is that what I am? I guess that's right. I did not know that. I thought these were strictly eyeshadows. Now obviously, if you like that color, you can totally use it on your eyes. But because they do say it is a blush, I am going to try it as a blush today. Which is fun, because I didn't know that we were getting blush. Besides the blush, um, our metallics, let's see, are these. So at least they're together. We know what they are. Very good layout. All right, so I have returned with all of my brushes and let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm gonna start with the C1 palette, which is the pink. And I'm going to take a Morphe E27 brush. And I'm gonna go into, what is this shade? Supernova, which is this kind of metallic purple. And I'm gonna put that up here. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's very um, light, but it's very pretty. Like you get the purple, but it also has this kind of shimmer to it. And it's really nice. I really just want to get that all under my brow. Okay. I'm going to take the same brush and dip into Undone, which is this little purple right here. And I'm going to put that on the outside of my crease and then down a little. Very pigmented is the first thing I have to say very pigmented okay I feel like that's pretty okay I know I'm not supposed to be doing both eyes so I'm just gonna stop doing this eye because I I'm just so used to doing my makeup like do this on this eye do this on this eye do this on this eye so I'm gonna stop doing that I'm still gonna leave the purple there but it'll be fine so next I really want to dig into this shade at the bottom glory which is kind of like this mauve color um, and I'm going to take this Morphe E18. Alright, so I'm going to dip into this. And this one I'm going to put on the other side of my crease. Down like that. Okay. And I'm using this little brush because I really want it to be controlled. I don't want it being all up here. I want, really just want a nice gradient down to my corner. And that looks, don't do the other eye, Ka Caitlin. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. All right, I really like that color. I don't know how well you guys can see, but I think that pairs so nicely with that purple. Um, I know these blues are just calling out to me, but I don't want to ruin this look and we still have to dig into the other palette. I'm going to swatch just a couple for you guys so we can look at some of the colors. The first one I'm going to swatch is this slow dive which is this really nice blue at the top and oh god i have bracelets i'm sorry i'm gonna swatch on my hand like jeffrey <laughs> so there's that color maybe i didn't get a very good swatch the next one i really want to try is cloud nine which is the teal at the top 
Oh, and it's a metallic, but it's very pretty. I don't know how well you can see, but it's a very nice color blue. And then the last one I want to swatch, because I'm not going to swatch all of them, is this Radiate, which is this green. And I really want to try the green because greens are so hard to get right, in my opinion. Every green in a palette I've had has had some sort of issue. One, staying as bright as it went on all day. Two, going on bright at all. Or three, just becoming green in the first place. There are some times I'll dip into a green eyeshadow, put it on, and all of a sudden it's brown. Or I'll put it on and it's the sheerest thing in the world. So let's see how they did. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at that green. That is so good. I really didn't expect it to be as intense as it was in the pan and it just glided on. Honestly, of all the swatches, that went on so nice. It is a matte, which I really like. Um, but oh my god, that is so pretty. I cannot wait to use that green. So let's go ahead and open this one. I'm just gonna have makeup all over my hands. It's fine. Okay, now this one is more, in my opinion, like up here is more of a neutral zone and then you have a little bit of a crazy zone right here. I'll show them you side by side. Like I feel like the pink one definitely still had some crazy colors in it, but it was like, they're, they're very paired. Whereas in this one, like you have some like nice nudes and like pinks or peaches up here and then you get down here and there's this green. Um, which of course we're going to test that green and test it compared to the other green. But for our eyes, I think I'm going to go into this um, yellow here and pat that on my lid. And I'm going to do that with Morphe M433. Um, I feel like it just really picks up pigments really well. And I'm going to pack that. I have a mirror above my camera so that way I can try to get better footage for y'all. Oh wow. Oh wow. Do y'all see that? That's nuts. That's great. That is a wonderful yellow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now, hmm. I didn't expect it to be that bright. <laughs> So, so I'm gonna go back into the other palette and dip into that dark purple again and just fix this corner so I feel better about it. Can I have a mirror? Use this mirror, please. Thank you. All right. And then one more time, I'm gonna dip into that uh, mauve -y color with this brush and see if I can pack it on a little bit more because I really want it all to blend together. Yeah, okay, I'm feeling that. Are you feeling that? I'm good with that. All right, now I really want to try this blue, so I'm going to swatch it and see how it is. Okay, now I'm going to admit it's kind of grainy when you're doing it, so this is definitely one of the metallics, um, but there it is. It's up here. And I think that is super pretty. That is a very beautiful blue. Um, I don't think I have any other blue like it in another palette. Um, maybe Jeffree Star's Blue Blood has a color almost similar to this, but I don't think it's a sp it's sparkly. I don't think it's metallic. So that blue was called Sky Rise, and now we're going to be testing Insomniac. Because again, I want to see how this green is. This is their metallic green. Oh my goodness! Look at that. That is so pretty. It's almost the same color as the one in the other palette, except it's just basically a metallic version. Um, I think that is insanely gorgeous. I kind of want to use it right now. All right, let me grab my little brush. Um, and for under my eyes, I usually use this Morphe E36. So I'm going to grab that green that we just had, the metallic -y one, and I'm going to put that under my eyes. I need this. Now, it's not, okay, once you layered it, I guess. All right, so I think that looks okay. Let's go ahead and just swatch this one right here, which is called Young Blood. Put it there. And then we'll test Double Shot, this brown. Oh, that's brown. This one is Young Blood and 
this brown swipe is double shot. So they're very pigmented. Like they did a very good job with pig pigmentation in these palettes. Let's open up our mini palette. There, ah! <laughs> there it is again. Um, very, very pretty. This is a Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush. And I'm going to grab this Player One, which is this purple. I know we've done a lot of purple, but I still want to use it. And I'm going to put that all over my crease. Not just one part, all over. Okay. Mm, that one's a little spotty. Okay, that second swipe got it. All right, that's really pretty. I'm gonna, I'm, I can't say anything bad about it. It's pretty little pretty. We're gonna grab, I'm actually gonna grab this uh, M433 again. And let's go a little crazy. Let's grab this Twitch, which is this green, because I really wanna play with greens. And I'm just gonna put it on my lid right over here well that's kind of disappointing is it just this brush okay I can see it but it, I think like, it's not really there it's not really there let's take a swatch at it and see Oh my god, even the finger swatch. Look how sheer that is. You can barely see that on camera. It's like right here on my thumb. Like, that is so sheer, even with a finger swipe. Why are all of the other greens so good and this one is not? It is so sheer. I I don't even want to use that. It is so sheer. That is... Ick. All right. The mini palette, mm not coming on so strong so not far um all right in that case what about let's see let me do a swatch of this continue which is this limeier green that is still so sheer i just ugh. all right what about cheat code are all, these all sheer i mean cheat code has some more to it it's, you can't see that it's that blue right there so it's got a bit more to it. Um, what about 8-bit, which is our the darker blue? Yeah, see, like, okay, these are have more color than the green, but they are not as pigmented as their capsule palettes, which is strange to me. Did they change the formula for this one palette? I, I mean, I don't understand. And, like, this is the one that they kept trying to, like, advertise to me constantly on Instagram. Um, so, uh. <sighs> all right, let's just keep going. I don't know what to do now. Now I'm kind of disappointed with this palette. <laughs> all right, um, I'm gonna go into Game Over, which is this red, which hopefully has some pigment. Oh, yeah, there we go. We found one with pigment in it. And I'm gonna put that just like on my outer. And blend it in yeah I think that's pretty okay the red is there the red can have my business the green the green in this palette can walk out the door bye but next I'm gonna since that green is just gross and sheer and muddy and doesn't look good I'm going to take this high score which is this orange I really love oranges um, and I'm gonna put that in the center of my lid Okay. We're gonna have to go in for a double dip. Okay, that one's actually pretty. I can't, and honestly though, I've never really come across an orange I didn't like. I love orange eyeshadows. I love making sunset eyes and just gradients and all kinds. All right, so the orange, I like the orange. All right, and in our inner corner, I'm gonna go back in with this Morphe E18. And I think in the corner, we're going to try out this level up, uh, which is this nice pink. And I'm going to put that in my corner. And then up a little to blend in. 
Now, this pink is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous pink. Look at that. If you can. If I can shut my eye. I told you I can't shut my eye. That is a gorgeous pink. I am happy with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch Rage quick because I think it's the only one we haven't swatched. And I just want y'all to be able to see it. It's this pink right here. It's kind of sheer. Let me do a, a double swipe over it so you can really see. Because it is really pretty and on the brush it does pick up. So there it is very pretty. I'm sorry to this palette, but this right here, maybe this one. This one, if you do a couple layers, you could probably get a really good color on your eye. But these, I have no faith in. Um, none. I don't want a green that I can't see. Like, what is the point of having a green eyeshadow if when you put it on, you can't see you're wearing green eyeshadow? You know what I'm saying? You know what? Let's do the 8-bit. That, that one up here. Let's, let's just see. Because I feel like it would be better on a brush. So, it's definitely taking a few swipes to get to the color that I want. And also, it just kind of stops having any pigment after a certain time. Alright, so I got that under there. I know it looks kind of crazy. Don't worry. I'm about to buff it out. Um, then I'm going to take this Rage Quit, the one that we already swiped, and I'm going to put it under that and slightly over. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna add one more thing to this eye because I want it to sort of even out with this eye. I've got that metallic green under there, but I'm gonna go back in with this uh, matte green that we really liked and put that under there as well, just to darken it up a bit because I feel like this eye is too, too much for this eye. And I wanna even out so I can have different colored eyes today. So my hands are crazy. <laughs> I really need to wash them. Um, but here are our finished eyeshadow looks. I know they look kind of crazy, but I'm actually, I'm going to be honest. I'm really feeling this eye, even though it's the one that we did with the fun size palette. Um, I think it's just the pink and that, that orange really stands out to me. And over here, the purple really stands out. But now that yellow is kind of fading in with that pink. Um, which is fine. It happens. Last but not least, I kind of need something sheer. So we're going to go in to this, uh, dream state, which is this shimmer. And I'm just going to put it in my corner just to lighten my corner up a little bit. Cause it seems a little dark. Also, there's a lot of fallout with the metallic. Like I, I wish I could show you, but if I hold this palette up, all the, the fallout's going to dump out into the floor. Um, but I, I do want to point out that there is a lot of fallout in this particular color. Um, there's been some fallout in all of the colors so far, but the metallics are especially very soft and breakable. So just be aware of that's finished. I put a little bit of that metallic in that inner corner. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it and it definitely looks better to me. So... We have to put a brush. Let's go ahead and do our blush, actually, while we have these palettes out and our brushes out. Now, our our blushes are either this one, uh, which is Melody, or this one, which is Retrograde. Now, this one is more peachy, and this one is more pinky. And I normally go for pinky. You know what? We'll try both of them. How's that? I'm going to be extra crazy today. All right, so let's take the peachy one out of this, the orange palette and let's put it on this side. Oh, wow. That is on there. That's so dark. That is so dark. Like, oh, wow. Also, do, am I, like, doing my br blush wrong? Can someone tell me? Because I always told you, like, smile and put it on your cheeks. But sometimes I feel like it's in the wrong place. That is so dark. That is so insanely dark. 
I'm gonna have to like go over that with like some setting powder or something. Let's go ahead and try the pink one, which is Melody, on the other cheek. I look like a clown. I look like a clown. I look like a clown. I look like a clown and I look like a clown. I look like a clown. This these are both so dark. <laughs> and I didn't even pick up that much, but they're so dark. Oh my god. I've just, I've ruined everything. All right, let me try this brush. This is usually my help me brush. It's the one I use when things are going wrong. The save me brush helped a little, but they went on so dark. I'm, I don't know if I would ever ever use those as blushes um definitely definitely they'd be greatly pigmented eyeshadows which is probably what they'll end up being to me um but as blushes i just don't feel like those are my color the save me brush has toned them down to something i'm almost okay with i'm still probably gonna go back over with some setting powder pigmentation like these, they have so much pigmentation. It's insane. But this one, it's only about half of it. Only about half of it makes the cut. Let's keep going. We did the blush. We did that. We've got to do our eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner off camera and then do my mascara and then we'll put our false eyelashes on in just a moment. I have my eyeliner on. As always, it halfway ruined the look because I can't ever get them even. And then when I'm trying to get them even, I just keep applying more and more and more until my whole eye is black and just full of eyeliner. Does that happen to anyone else? Because it happens to me a lot. Somebody needs to teach me how to put on eyeliner. <laughs> but yeah, there's our eyeliner. So now we get to do our eyelashes and we have to pick which ones we're going to wear today. So that was my setting spray falling in the floor. Um, so we've got these, these, or crazies. So I'm gonna go with the purple ones, the, uh, angel baby. Now it says lashes are the last step in your eye prettifying ritual. Make sure your eye makeup is finished before you put them on. Apply a thin coat of eyelash glue to the band. Wait 20 to 30 seconds until glue becomes tacky. Place lashes slightly above your natural lash line. Starting near the inner corner of your eye, lashes may be trimmed to suit your eye shape. Reusable looks store properly. Okay, I've never used lashes like this. Okay, oh, I've never used lash glue before, so this is gonna be fun. Okay, oh, and to make it fun, let's do one with the lash glue and one with the liner bond to actually see, because the liner bond said that it can go on. So let's see what lashes this one. This is for the right eye. Okay, so I've got my lash glue. <gasps> That's so much glue. Why did it come out so fast? Oh my god. 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 I got the glue on there. Okay. So it said 20 to 30 seconds until the glue is tacky. Is it tacky yet? No. Whatever. Let's just put them on. And I guess I put them on right. I don't know. I feel like the inner corner wasn't very sticky, but whatever. Um, and on the other eye, I'm going to use the liner bond just to see how they work with the liner bond because it says you can use them with everything. And I don't want to sit there and wait for glue to get tacky. I don't want to do it, you know? All right. So I'm going to just do a thin line near my lash line. I'm done. And now we just stick our lashes on there. So there are our lashes. I think they're very pretty. 
Now, I'm gonna be honest, I do kind of feel like the ones I put on with the liner bond are more secure than the ones I put on with the glue because, like I said, the one with the glue, like, the edge was already kind of peeling up, but, like, wow. These lashes are beautiful. Like, I can't get mad about them. They're really pretty. I don't think you can see the purple on them very well, um, but they definitely stand out. So I'm really happy with these lashes, actually. I don't think I'll ever really apply them with glue again. Um, I'll probably just keep the glue as like a backup for if I run out of liner bond or something. But honestly, this liner bond has been holding lashes so well. And like, because it can be used with any lashes, I really love it. So we've got our, we've done our eyes, we've done our cheeks, we've done our eyelashes. Last but not least is our lips. We've got a blue and a pink and I'm going to go with the pink today. That's an interesting applicator. It, is like kind of one of those triangles um it's not one of the doe foots i don't think but let's i can't tell what that smell is I'm gonna be honest, I really like the applicator. The applicator was really easy for in my, um, you know, the, the thing. Cupid's bow, <laughs> um, I think. But yeah, right there. Um, usually I have a bit of an issue getting those even. Um, even with the Jeffree Star tips, like I feel sometimes like I go a bit wider than I need to, but that applicator was very nice. I actually really liked it. It does have a smell to it and I can't tell what the smell is. It's definitely like a fake sort of artificial flavor, but it reminds me of like something of my childhood, like a, a candy that didn't taste right. It's gotta be a candy. I just it reminds me of candy um it's called this is called Lala um now the company is vegan and cruelty free and everything that's one reason that I really wanted to review them but okay so there is our final look all right Whew. I'm going to go put some setting spray on and fix my hair and I'll be right back for final reviews final thoughts so obviously I think that the capsules are insanely good. Now, remember, there is a little bit of fallout, but otherwise, the colors were awesome. The colors were great. The greens in it are fantastic. I would highly recommend the capsules. Um, the fun size palette, I'm kind of split on. I really do like the purples and pinks in it, and the red really showed up, and the orange was beautiful. But those, those greens just aren't really cutting it for me. But as for like cheat code twitch and all that, I probably will never touch those because they're just not really there. They don't exist. You, you, you put them on your hand and they disappear. They're like a magician. Um, so I cannot recommend this palette. You have seen the how it has worked with me. If you still want to get it, that is awesome. You do you. Everyone's different. I personally just don't think this is my favorite. However, I loved the capsules. The capsules were great. I will 100% use those again. I can recommend those. Um, the false eyelashes, obviously I can recommend. I I don't know much about false eyelashes to compare like um, quality of eyelashes because I thought that eyelashes were just, you just got them on how they looked. <laughs> I mean, I feel like these look great. They're really pretty. They're really fun. I can't wait to have some more fun with these. So the lips, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I really like their lip formula. I can't complain. I mean, I know we didn't try the blue, which is fine, but as for the pink, it's very pretty. It's not drying. It, it's drying down obviously because it is a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't feel dry to my lips. Sometimes you get a matte mat that is so drying that it starts cracking and everything. And obviously, anytime you put on a lipstick, it's gonna fill the crack in your lips. If you don't have cracks in your lips, oh my God, how do you do it? I cannot. Um, 
but it's a really great formula. It doesn't feel like it's drying my lips out. Um, let's try a transfer on this hand. Okay, it does transfer. It does transfer. I, it could be I've not let it dry down enough, um, but it does transfer so far. So that's okay. But the blushes the blushes. Let's talk about the blushes for a minute. The blushes are not for me at all. At all, at all, at all. I will probably never use those blushes as blushes. I will probably use them as eyeshadows. If, like I said, if you have a darker complexion, those blushes would probably look great on you because they are so pigmented, but I'm just so fair and they are so dark that it doesn't work for me. And that is fine. Um, I think, again, I don't think that they're bad. I just think they're not made for my skin tone. So overall, I can recommend the capsule collection. I cannot personally recommend the uh, fun size palette. Um, I can recommend the liquid lipsticks. Overall, I recommend Sugar Pill. I think they're a good uh, cosmetic uh, company. I like their packaging. Everything came really nice. Everything was very clean. The pack, like these packages that the, the things came in, these are so nice. They're simple. They're, there's nothing fancy about it. You don't feel like you're wasting a lot of packaging. For the false eyelashes that I am wearing, they were $5.96. Uh, the dew drops were $7.65 and the porcelain were $5.95. Um, the glue was $5.52. The lip color duo I got on sale for five ten, um, and then the collection, the capsules I got in a bundle for sixty three seventy five. I can't quite remember what they retail uh, separately, but I'll be sure to link all of these products down below. And I got the fun size palette on Amazon. You can buy these off of Amazon. I paid twenty eight for the fun size palette, so I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't worth the twenty eight in my opinion. This palette to me would probably be worth like, pay like 10 or 15 for this, but I wouldn't pay almost $30 for a palette with so many colors that are so sheer. I think that the prices for the pills are pretty good. I mean, for a, both of them, for 63 I think that's okay. I think that they are made well enough and pigmented enough that they, they, they earned that price. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to big, give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoy watching my content, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can get notified when I post. I post usually every Sunday. Um, if there are some sort of technical difficulties or something like that, then it'll be up Monday, but usually Sunday is a pretty good day. So make sure you hit that bell so you can get notified. If you want to see more of my makeup looks, I always post anytime I do my makeup on Instagram with a full list of the products I use. So if you are curious about the foundation or concealer or anything I use today, uh, you can hop over to Instagram and check out there. Uh, I also have a Twitch stream. It's countrycat186. I will link both my Instagram and Twitch down below. Um, Twitch is more of my gaming platform. We're actually running a series right now on Man and Medan. So if you're interested in seeing that, please be sure to hop over on Twitch and follow me. Uh, once I hit 50 followers on Twitch, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for some Steam games. So if you play games and you want some free games, just go ahead and go on over there and follow me and you'll automatically be entered to win. Um, but I hope you guys had a great day. Comment down below what your favorite piece from this collection is. Um, my favorite, I believe, is definitely the, uh, the pink capsule. The orange capsule is really pretty, but I really love this color scheme. So let me know what your favorite is. Let me know if you have any other makeup brands or clothing brands or products as seen on TV. Anything you can think of that you would like to see me try or review comment down below and I promise I will try my best to make it happen. Stay safe, stay home. I hope y'all are doing well. I love y'all so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.